Yo, what's up? This is Walter Jones. You know me from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is Zach, the Black Ranger, and you are watching Supernova TV. <laughs> Admit, when I walked past this booth, I could not stop staring. There are so many cute, sparkly, just amazing accessories here. Tell me about Fractured Lace. What do you do? Um, so I do a whole bunch of stuff, primarily um, brooches and jewellery, but also the headpieces that you see behind me. Um, they're all one of a kind or limited run of no more than three when it comes to the headpieces. And I've recently launched a new brooch range where every piece down the front here is a one-off. So somebody can walk away with something unique and special just for them. Yeah. Just like everyone who comes to Supernova is unique and special. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So tell me, what inspires your designs? There's so many different things happening here. Yep. Um, so with the headpieces, um, like I really love playing with different colours and combinations of the different materials, um, particularly with like the little animals and stuff like that. Like they just, yeah, again, something unique and different. Um, down the front with the brooches and all the rest, again, it's a little bit of... Whatever makes me smile and happy, like I love coming and doing Supernova in particular because when people come by and see it, like you can see their eyes light up. Um, and it's great to be able to like put a little bit of my creativity out into the world and you know, give somebody else something to smile about too. Yeah. Absolutely. I know that if I had one of these on, I would not be able to stop smiling. Now, where can we find Fractured Lace if we're not at Supernova? Yeah, um, so I have an online store, um, fracturedlace.com, um, and we're also on Facebook and Instagram, of course, um, both under the title of Fractured Lace. So, yeah, awesome. Well, I think that I need to have a closer look and maybe get myself a little something unique as well. I'm okay. Uh, hi, Austin. Well, welcome to Australia. Um, my question is about uh, a particular episode, one that is, is a fan favourite, Forever Red. Um, I'm just wondering if uh, any any interesting stories or anecdotes um, on on the set of that episode. Forever Red. I didn't even know. I, I was I was working in a fire department as a paramedic uh, on the other side of the country, and um, I had no idea Power Rangers was even still filming. Honestly, but they they called me up and said, "Hey, would you mind coming back out to LA to do an episode with the other Red Rangers?" Now, my mindset, I thought, okay, I knew there'd been Rocky, and I had heard Jason Frank had become a Red Ranger, but those were like the only other two that I knew about. And I was like, well, okay, so I was thinking three of us. I was like, well, how many have there been? And they're like, 11. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you guys do? Have you been killing off Red Rangers that fast? What happened? <laughs> you know? I, so I'm the longest standing Red Ranger. Um, so anyway, long story short, I flew out, and I was only there for two days, and I got to meet all the new guys, and it was really cool. The newest, the newest guy walks up to me, and he's like, man, I grew up watching your show, and I went, damn, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> man. So uh, anyway, we shook hands, and I got to meet a, a lot of the new guys, and uh, it was really interesting to see, because I was, I was truly vested in Jason and how I built the leader of the team and seeing how each of these guys had, had come in and built their own, their own rite of passage and created their own character uh, in the aftermath was, it was really cool. So it was just, it was great to see the other legendary Reds. We are here with Walter Jones. I am with Mr. Jones. Hey. <laughs> how you so, doing, man? Man, I'm having a great time. Yeah? Yeah. How many times have you been back to Australia? <clears throat> I've been to Australia, been back to Australia with, uh, with Supernova. Uh, this is my fifth time. Fantastic. Yeah. Right? Now, it's been how many years? Is it the 25th anniversary of it's the Power Rangers? It's our 25th anniversary. You know, it, that's amazing, isn't it? 25 it, years, and I'm only 26, which is crazy. So how old were you when you, uh, sorry, actually, no, that's a terrible question because that How actually, young was I? How young were you? Yeah, yeah. Like, was it that, like, one of your first gigs? Or? It was my first television show, my first television series. Mm. I worked uh, doing background and various other things on other shows, but it was my first series regular. So, yeah, and I was, I was younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's just go with that. And that's, that. I like it. But <clears throat> had you been doing a lot of martial arts before that? You know, I studied martial arts as a kid mm. um, in Detroit, Michigan. I was a Michigan State Pee Wee champion. Hey. <laughs> 
I, which was hard fought for. I, I was in a karate tournament and I fought maybe six times and the last guy I fought was like this tall Taekwondo kid and he had made these amazing kicks. Yeah. I seen him kicking people all day and I was super intimidated but in the, in the end I had my karate kid moment and I won. <laughs> So did you do the, the thing? The I did not. What yeah. I did it was I. that doesn't work. It doesn't, no. It is a lot. What I did is I did a running jump side kick. So I went a jump side kick and kicked him in the chest. And then he was surprised to see me jump that high. So uh, I tried it again and it didn't work. Oh. Uh, but then I tried it again a little bit later. And instead of going for the kick, I topped him to the neck and I won the winning point. And, and you've kept up with martial arts over the years? Like you were still clearly a very fit human being. Oh, you know what? I got a little break going on. Hey, hey, no. I'm, uh, I, I, you know, I stay fit uh, from dancing primarily, but I do do martial arts. I study with, uh, study some, some uh, I have a black belt of Hapkido, and uh, I've studied with different martial arts, uh, Thai boxing and, and judo and uh, some, a little bit of capoeira. And hey. actually, Steve was studying with Steve Cardenas. Um, uh, he was teaching me some stuff. He's a really talented martial artist. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know the name. Like he's, he's yeah, he was, very... the, he was the second Red Ranger. Ah, yeah. right. Okay, thank you. I, I was thinking, I know the name? I know, he's like, I know this name, but yeah. who is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the dancing. Like, are you still dancing? I am still dancing. I uh, won a world championship in salsa in uh, 2004, and it continues to be one of my passions. So uh, since I've been here, I've been dancing every night. <laughs> I, I have friends. It's, it's amazing dancing. It's, I've been dancing salsa, kizomba, zouk, and bachata. And what's cool about that is almost anywhere in the world I go, there's a community for me to go and visit. So there's dancing somewhere and almost everywhere I go. And, 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 and what got you into dancing in the first place? And specifically salsa, because that is one of those ones that, like, it looks incredible. It does. And the music is always amazing. It's amazing. Uh, you know, what it was is I, I worked on cruise ships for a number of years before I did Power Rangers. Right. And I went to Puerto Rico and I went to this club and this, this couple came in dressed in white. The man was tall, the woman was beautiful, long hair, white dress. And they got on the floor and I was doing what I thought to be salsa. And they started dancing and everybody sat down and just watched. They were amazing. Mm. And I could not figure out what they were doing. I was like, how do they turn and then come back to the same beat, how do they hear that? And that, when I saw it in LA, uh, I, I saw a guy doing it in LA and I said, man, I want to learn. So he uh, took me under his wing and uh, within a month I was teaching his beginning class. Oh, wow. So, I, I, so you just have a facility for it? Well, like I, I'm a, I have a degree in musical theater, so I studied singing, dancing, acting. I, I studied ballet and tap and modern and, uh, you know, various styles. And so between my martial arts background and my dance background, I, I'm fairly talented when it comes to physicality. So yeah, that, that to me is what I'm hearing, is, is yeah. that it's all about your, your bo body my, being an instrument. My pension, yeah, I have a pension for picking up things that are physical. That is so, so cool. I, I've been on uh, like water skiing. Yeah. Right? So people water ski on two skis and, and I learned, I went with some friends to go water skiing and they were like, okay, so we're gonna go on one ski, you go on two skis. I got up on two skis pretty quickly yeah. and I said, I wanna try that one ski thing. And they're like, oh, it took me years to do it. And I get up and I'm like, hey, I got balance, I got agility, so you know, it worked out. That's awesome. It, like, I love that your life has been a life of, of very, very energetic, like passionate, um, exciting movement. Yeah, it, it has been, and I, I'm excited about that. I, um, I, I have a quote. My quote, the quote is, life is the adventure you create for yourself, right? Which is true. So what you choose to do in your life is, you know, the book of your own life. And that's the one thing nobody can take away from you. So I fill my life with experiences. I've been bungee jumping, skydiving. I've been dog sledding. I scuba dive. I uh, snorkel. I snowboard. I water ski. All these things. I do because it gives me, uh, it makes my life rich with experience. That's awesome. Yeah. And this has been a, a, an enriching experience for me. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. You're man. very welcome. Glad to be here. Awesome. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.